The Dark, written by Robert Munch, illustrated by Michael Marchenko. When Jewel Ann came down the stairs for breakfast, there was a big cookie jar on the kitchen table. She turned it upside down, but nothing came out. So she hit the bottom of the jar, whap, 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 and still nothing came out. Finally, she held the jar up over her head and looked in it. A small dark lump fell out, bounced on her nose, and rolled across the table. Jewel Ann said, What's that? Her mother said, What's that? The small dark ate Jewel Ann's shadow and got a little bigger. The small dark ate her mother's shadow and got a little bigger. The small dark ate the toaster's shadow and got even bigger. I think it's a dark, said Jewel Ann. By this time, the dark was as big as the toaster. Jewel Ann's father came in and said, Hey, what's that? Jewel Ann said, It's a dark. It eats shadows. Jewel Ann's father picked up the dark and threw it out the window. The dark landed and bounced, boing, 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 down the street. The dark saw lots of car shadows, and it ate them up. The dark saw lots of telephone pole shadows, and it ate them up. Dark saw lots of house shadows, and it ate them up. The dark even saw some butterfly shadows, and it ate them up. The dark was now as big as a hill. It came back to Jewel Ann's house, sat on the roof, and went to sleep. The whole yard was so dark that Jewel Ann could not go out and play. Jewel Ann's mother and father said, What's this? They ran out to chase away the dark. But it was so dark outside that they got lost. They could not even find the door to come back in. Jewel Ann was very upset. Then she saw that the dark had not eaten her chair's shadow, so she broke off a piece and held it out the window. She yelled, Booed! The dark came right down the side of the house and jumped on the shadow. Then Jewel Ann broke up the rest of the shadow into little pieces and put them into the cookie jar. Right away, the dark flew through the window and jumped into the jar to eat the shadow. As soon as the dark was inside, Jewel Ann put the top on the jar. She taped it with tape, she glued it with glue, she plastered it with plaster, and she roped it with rope. Then all her friends helped her carry it to a garbage can, and they dumped it inside. Her mother and father called the garbage truck. The truck came and took the dark away. It never came back. All the shadows took a whole week to grow again. 